So greetings to all of you members of Sentinel Primary Care. Uh, we're going to get into the medical content in just a moment, but for this members video, I actually wanted to open with a story. So, you know, as you probably know, a portion of our work here is charitable care. I, I give away a portion of my care for folks who don't have insurance. Um, so, a few uh, weeks ago, earlier this fall, uh, we were seeing a person who was coming in to receive charitable care <clears throat> uh, and at the end of the visit her bill was a few dollars uh, and the bill that she had to, to pay us with it was the next increment up from whatever her her fee was for the visit uh, and when we went to make change for her she wouldn't take the change she said keep the change <clears throat> and use it for somebody else who needs charitable care and she wouldn't take her money back and she said, <clears throat> you never have too little to give some of it away. I'll tell you, I went home humbled that day. So thank you for being a part of Sentinel Primary Care. Merry Christmas. Now on to the medical part. You might have seen a few weeks ago that the American College of Cardiology and the American Heart Association came out with new blood pressure uh, treatment guidelines. Uh, and they got some attention because they were fairly ambitious in terms of lowering the treatment thresholds. What I wanted to talk about was how to check your own blood pressure as discussed in these guidelines because they have some specific recommendations. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to talk about four components of checking your blood pressure according to these new guidelines. Number one, <clears throat> preparation. So the guidelines recommend that for 30 minutes before you check your blood pressure, you do not exercise, you do not smoke, uh, and you do not have caffeine. Uh, so maybe you don't check your blood pressure you know, while you're sipping on your cup of coffee. Number two, the, the equipment that you use. So first off, make sure you use the correct size cuff, for because if you have the wrong size, you're going to get consistently inaccurate numbers. For this, I, I refer you to the instructions on your particular machine. Now, when you're putting your cuff on, it is preferable that you put the cuff against bare skin rather than checking through your sleeve. You are less likely this way to get inaccuracy because of having the sleeve. Number three, <coughs> positioning matters. And so position, what you want is a chair with back support rather than, for example, laying down or laying back into a squishy sofa. Sit, lean back into the back support, feet on the floor, and then your arm should rest comfortably at tabletop height, <clears throat> or if you have an armrest on the chair, at about armrest height. So that's all positioning. And then number four, perhaps I think the, the most important of these, is that before you hit start on your machine, you are supposed to wait five minutes. Five minutes. That's a long, long time. <sighs> all right, I hope that's all good, useful information for Sentinel Primary Care in Briar Creek and Raleigh. I'm Dr. Patrick O'Connell. Merry Christmas. Now, I'll also give you this. This is a members-only content section. So in terms of my take on these guidelines, um, the, the, the nutshell at the moment, I think overall they're good. <coughs> um, I think in high-risk individuals, they, they rightly reduce the blood pressure targets we should shoot for. I've got some issues with some components of the guidelines. Um, in some arenas, they propose very tight blood pressure control, I would say without necessarily adequate empiric evidence to support those targets. And one of the things that we have learned through medicine is that good intuition is a starting point, but you got to prove it with research, because good intuition sometimes leads you down the wrong path. And there is good intuition, and in some circumstances, mediocre data to support some of the blood pressure targets that have been recommended. But I think in some circumstances, there's not the robust data that you want for somebody in my situation to say, here's more medicine to try to get your blood pressure down to the targets that have been proposed. So I, uh, overall, I think the guidelines are good, but I think some of the components of it 
are going to need a little bit of chewing on in the professional literature before I uh, really decide to jump on board. So stay tuned. That, that's, that's my thought on it. Uh, I think there'll be more to come with this one in, in the upcoming months. All right. Thanks for your interest. Uh, for Sentinel Primary Care in Briar Creek and Raleigh, I'm Dr. Patrick O'Connell. Have fun checking your blood pressure.